Thank you very much for tuning into Stuff from China today. I am doing a summary of the 2003 Chinese movie Color My Dog. Spoiler alert! This is a complete spoiler of the story and the movie. This movie has got a seven out of ten on IMDb. The movie starts with text on screen and it goes blah blah blah. But in a nutshell, it's about Kala the dog, which is illegal. Yes, there were illegal dogs in China. There was a time that you need a license to keep a dog as a pet, otherwise it's illegal and would be taken away. And this movie centers Kala and its three owners, the husband and father Lao Er, the wife, and the son Liang Liang. The wife is walking Kala one night when the police arrive. The police are here to crack down on illegal dogs. The wife tries to escape, but she failed, and Kala is taken away. And she was told that she has got eighteen hours to get the proper license, otherwise, Kala would be, say, sent to dog's heaven. So when Nang Nang finds out that Kala has been taken away, he decides to bulk up overnight and break into the police station. Perhaps,、uh, except that he doesn't really do that. He does get up in the middle of the night, goes to the station with his friends, where his friend's father works as a police officer. Nang Nang begs the officer to let him see Kala, but was told to go away. In the end, he manages to see Kala. But then the police officer told him to get the parents and sort out the license. That's when Liang Liang says, "On the next day, on his way to school, and there's a homeless cat just on the roadside. And Liang Liang decides to save the homeless cat, I guess. Then we see in the factory where our main character works, and should be the time we see our main character now. Just not this butt, but、um, this man, the man rubbing his head. This is Lauer, our main character. So he's done his shift, pick up the payment, and goes home. Just before he gets back home, he stops at the lift and takes out a stash of cash. Get some out and put it in his own pocket. That is his own pocket money. A bit of a cultural note here: some husbands in China do hide their own pocket money away from their wives. And then he realizes Kala is gone. Hello. Hello. He's livid. He's full of anger. He stares at the police station, and something is growing in his head. He dares not shout in front of the wife, so he goes to a public toilet. And after that, he goes to his friend's house. This friend. And at her house, he sees Kala. Except that that's not Kala. That's Kala's mom. Kala was given to Laura as a puppy about a year ago by his friend, Yang Li. And Yang Li seems better off, and she has got a proper dog license, which could help Lao Er to save Kala. So Lao Er heads over to the police station. He presents with the dog license, but the officer has got a pair of good trained eyes, and he could tell dogs apart. When presented with the paper, he goes like, "Um, do you think I'm stupid, or do you think all dogs look the same?" So just like that, Lao is back to square one. Lao returns the dog license to Yang Li, and Yang Li goes like, "I could find my ex-husband to help you," but they had a fight on the roadside, and the ex-husband decides not to help them anymore. So they went on to find someone else. This someone else is a bus driver. Um, apparently this bus driver is like the oracle of saving dogs from jail. The bus driver told them to call another person, and they were sent away to see someone else who would give them a dog, not Kala, just a random dog. But that's not what Lauer wants. In the meantime, at school, Lang Lang is helping his friends from being bitten by a bully, but he also broke the bully's arm. This is the bully, the one with blonde hair. Back home, Laura took out the cash that has been hiding away from the wife, 
It's not much and it's not enough, but he wants the wife to chip in the rest of the money to get a proper license for colour. But the wife says they're only scraping by and there's not enough money to save colour. So at this point they have a big fight and the wife presses on his relationship with Yang Ni. Finally they call a truce. And he wants to have sex, but then she doesn't want any of it, so he goes to sleep. Only soon after he was woken up, and the wife says Nang Nang has not been back for lunch. So Lao Er was sent away to find Nang Nang, but he stops at the pet market where cats and birds are sold. Lao Er walks around in the pet market, and someone is selling dogs illegally. So this woman takes Lao Er to the illegal dog seller's hideaway place, where Lao Er pays a big sum for a puppy. But then he finds out that the dog was painted with black paint so that it's sold for higher price. He went to return the dog, but then all the dog sellers are gone. So Lara takes a spot in the pet market and sells the newly bought puppy, just like the woman was doing. Then the police arrive. They're here to catch dog sellers, and being in the wrong place the wrong time, Lara is taken in. Luckily, the officer recognizes him and let him off. So, Lao Er goes to school to find Nang Nang. Knowing that he's not there, he went back to his mom's. And it's at his mom's place, he sees the homeless cat and knows that Nang Nang was here before. When Lao Er gets back, Yang Ni is waiting for him downstairs. She tells Lao Er that all has been sorted and Kala will be saved in the evening. And Lao Er seems happy to hear that news. But then the wife also had a change of her heart and decided to take out the money to save Kala. But their son is still missing, so the two of them decide to go to the police station to save Kala as well as find Nang Nang. Just when they're about to save Kala, they hear a big shout from the cell, and that's when they find out that Liang Liang is in police custody. So Liang Liang broke someone's arm, and yet yeah, this one and his parents are here to press charges against Liang Liang. So Lao Er has to go into reason with them. And the mom looks at Liang Liang and decides to go out to get some water for him. And just as everything is happening, Kala is being loaded onto a track which sends all the illegal dogs to um, their final destination. Lara hears the commotion, he comes out, but it's all too late. Liang Liang is sobbing in his cell. Lara comes in to calm his son down. Then they have a big fight. Kala is being taken away on a truck. And the movie ends with the wife turning her head seeing the truck being driven away. But the story doesn't end there. There is another text on screen in the end, and it goes like Kala was returned to the family in the evening. Laura and the wife goes to the police station to get a proper license for Kala on the next day. So there you have it, the 2003 Chinese family drama comedy which depicted the society and family at the time in China. It was uh, quite an entertaining movie to watch, although the pace could be a bit faster. Um, but I would say it definitely deserved the 7 out of 10 on IMDb rating. That is the end of today's video. Thank you very much again for tuning in. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Dear viewers, I would like to take a few seconds to introduce you to my new channel, Stuff From China. As the name of the channel suggests, on this channel I intend to comment and talk about stuff from China, things like movies, Chinese drama, tech, gadgets, and what's trending on Chinese social media. If there's anything you're interested to hear in particular about China or stuff from China, then please do let me know in the comments. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching again and I hope to see you soon.